and welcome back to my channel. I am Amanda and this channel is Dr. Mommy Budgets. I am here today just to do a quick chit chat with you guys on some information that, or really it's just one question that I have been thinking about a lot lately. So, um, before we get started, if you hear any noise in my background, it is a very, very beautiful day here. And so it's nice and sunny, it's in the 70s, and there are a lot of people outside who are deciding to do yard work. So if you hear noise, that is exactly what that is. So please forgive my background noise. Now, I do have the question written down here and I am going to read it so that I can make sure that I have all of my thoughts to be transferred from this paper to the video. The question is, have you ever honestly thought about why finances are important to your life? So a few key words have been sticking out to me in this question and they are honestly important and your life so you know a lot of times when we think about our finance you know we may by default be interested in finances and it you know it intrigues us and make us come alive and motivate us and all of those things which is the reason why I love to talk about finances. I love to do my budget. I love, I'm not, you know, just this diehard fan of money, you know, where I just gotta go and just get the money, get the money, get the money. But um, just this whole financial world and topics around finances, they have always intrigued me. So um, that is one of the main reasons why I like to, involve myself in finances. But, you know, I've been thinking lately and it's like, okay, when it comes to finances and saving and budgeting and your money and all of that, what is honestly important to you as it relates to that topic? So I did have four takeaways and it's actually um, four items that are listed and importance to me um, in that in that manner or in that order. So the very first item I consider to be the most important to me and the fourth item is the least important. Now, I'm not saying it in a manner of, you know, that I would really prefer to do this number one item and I hate the fourth item. No, it's just that they fall in the importance of my life in this order. So let's dive right in. The first one is to sustain me and my family's health by pretty much providing the essentials or the necessities. So what I mean by um, providing um, the necessities for me and my family is basically I need money or finances to live. So basically we need it for food and clothing and housing and all of that. So that would be the most important um, reason for me actually um, ordering my fin finances the way that I do in my life or the way that I take actions with my finances. That is the most important thing because in order for me to do whatever else, I definitely am going to need those finances to eat. And then, you know, if I don't eat, then I don't live. So yeah, so I would definitely need it. And the same thing for my family. We need those things to sustain our health. All right, next is savings. I am a saver by default. I like to save money. I know you guys have heard me say that over and over in my videos. You know, I love to save money. I just do. I like to save it. Now, here are the reasons why I like to save money. And see, I've been thinking about these things and, and I've been trying to come to, trying to get to the why behind 
you know, all of this reasoning and, you know, why I'm actually doing this. So the why for me, as it relates to savings is the idea, the first thing is for security, for security, that feeling of security and having that safety net. That's just what it is. So basically I don't want to have to go to bed thinking about worrying about stressing out about where our next meal is going to come from. You know, do I have enough money for a small emergency? You know, I need transportation to get from point A to point B. Do I have enough money just in case I need to do a small repair on my vehicle? You know, things like that. So it's that security and that, that safety net that makes me feel secure and safe. So that's the main reason why I save money. Second reason is the unknowns as it relates to my children or my family. It's, it's like, okay, they may need this or they may need that down the line. I'm not sure what they may need. You know, I'm a mother, I'm a parent. I've been a mother and a parent for, let's see, the oldest is 18. So for 18 years, I have been a parent. So, you know, you just kind of have had these experiences as to what may creep up into your life or your situation as it relates to your children. And, um, you know, you just try and be prepared as you can. So that is my way of thinking. That's my thought process behind the unknowns and why I say for that, you know, there may be a trip to the doctor that's, um, unknown or unplanned. So things like that. So that is the second most important reason why I like to save money. The last one is for my children's education, pretty much. So I guess I can say education and or children's startup adult life fund or whatever. So basically what I'm trying to say is I would like to say this is just a personal goal for me because actually we do not have to save any money or give children any money toward their education or once they become an adult and they decide to leave the nest there's nothing that says that a parent have to do that but for me that is just something i would like to do i would like to send my children off in adulthood with you know, some form of finances. You know, I may just want to start up a um, 401k or retirement plan for them. You know, it may not necessarily have to be a 529 plan that they could use for education purposes. So, but whatever it is, I may want to have, you know, some money stashed away. So if there's one that do not want to go off to college and just want to you know, take that next step in life where they go perhaps get a trade and just start working and get a job or become an entrepreneur, whatever it is they want to do in their life after they become an adult. Sounds like I hear something. I think I might. Let me stop this for a moment and see what that is. Okay, we are back to this video and I did hear something downstairs. It was the children coming in the door downstairs. Now let's get back. I have two more points. And the last point, the third point is the reason why finances are important to me is to pay down debt. That is the third thing for me. Paying down debt because, I mean, I can get to points and places where it's like, I honestly, guys, I could just really get in a funk about debt. I'm like, I really want this stuff gone. I need it gone now. And I just, I just want it gone. And I think the main reason why I want the debt gone so bad is so that I can, um, add more to step number two, which is the savings. So, you know, so that I can make, um, having that feeling of security and safety net, 
as it relates to money and then any of the unknowns that may take place and also for um, padding the accounts for the children if they decide to do education or if they dis not if they don't decide to do education they decide to just go on so I basically want to like I said leave them with some finances as they journey from childhood to adulthood so when they leave out the door and empty the nest I want to have some form of finances to give them as they journey on so yeah paying down the debt that's the third for me i got to get it going so yes this year is definitely going to be a year where i see a really big difference in my debt balances i am going to be gung-ho on these debts it is now april all the way to december oh it's gonna we're gonna see a really big dent number four is investing in mine and my family's future that basically is number four for why I honestly have the thoughts that I have around finances and why they are important to my life. Investing in my future and my family's future. So in other words, um, basically beefing up my retirement plan, finding other avenues to invest in, um, starting a business. Well, I actually have businesses started, but to ramp those businesses up and if there's anything else that you know i desire because i'm ser seriously thinking about trying to do something along the lines of working out and exercising because that is a huge part of my life too so hey why not you know turn that into a business small business so i am thinking about doing something along those lines i love real estate i own one property right now and it's cash flowing uh not a whole lot of well, actually there's no debt on it because the property is paid for but you know just things like that so that would be the fourth most important thing for me as it relates to finances so let's go back and let me give you a quick overview of my four points and guys i would like for you to seriously think about that question that way you'll be able to streamline and structure your finances the way you need to do where they will be able to benefit you your life and your family and not just you know listening to a lot of finance gurus tell you what to do with your money if that is not what you really want to do with it so the first one for me was to sustain my and my family's health or basically the necessities that we need you know we need food clothing shelter and transportation so that's the first thing like i said we definitely got to eat we got to have somewhere to stay if we don't eat we die so i cannot do the other two three and four step all right the second one is savings i have three reasons why i save feeling of security the unknowns as it relates to my children they may have an unknown health um issue that pops up or you know they they may have something they need to do in school or we may need to go to the doctor unexpectedly whatever it is that's that unknown as it relates to the children and the last one is to send the children out the door as they go into adulthood with some form of finances these are things that i want to do because like i said these are things that i do not have to do once they become of age to become an adult I don't have to give them anything else. I don't have to supply for them. They are quote unquote grown and can sustain and do things that they want to do for their lives moving forward. Number three is to pay down debt. And number four is to invest in mine and my family's future. So there you have it. Those are the items that are most near and dear to my heart as it relates to finances so just take some time and answer this question honestly for you and i am going to repeat the question again and it is have you ever honestly thought about why finances are important to you and your life honestly important your life those are the three terms you need to really take into consideration so that's all I have for this video for today. This is Dr. Mummy Budgets, where we dream big, but start small around here. And also guys, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below answering that question, just to let me know where you're, you know, what frame of mind you're in, how you're thinking as it relates to finances. So, 
Like I said, that's all I have for this one. I will see you in the next video. Peace.